In this example, we'll be looking at how to run a CP2K simulation on Rescale. CP2K is an open source quantum chemistry tool that can be used for a number of applications, including simulations of solid state biological systems. The example that we'll be looking at today in particular is a molecular dynamics trajectory simulation of liquid argon. The example is provided by CP2K and can be viewed on their website if you'd like to take a look. To get started with our CP2K simulation, we could use one of the existing templates that we've created here, but instead, let's click the Create New Job button from the Rescale Scalix homepage to set up the job from scratch. We'll give the job a name and then follow these guided steps. Our first step is to attach input files, so we'll upload the argon input file from our local machine, but we could also have attached it from our cloud storage if we'd already uploaded it for a different job. Once the file is uploaded, we'll click Next, and this file uploads very quickly, but we could have moved forward with the setup, and it would have continued to upload in the background if it was a larger file, too. The next setup here is software selection, so we'll select CP2K, and then we need to specify our execution command. The execution command provided here by Rescale is almost complete, actually, so we just need to fill in a few additional fields, including the number of cores and the name of the input file. We'll also add an output option here to write out to this file, and the rescale course per slot value uh, that we used here is a global variable that's available in all rescale jobs, and it contains the total number of CPUs available, which can be very helpful if we were to, for example, clone this job and then select more cores that we wanted to run on. This would automatically update it to make sure it's always going to use the amount of resources available without us having to come in here and manually adjust our core count number in the command. With the setup complete, we'll click Next and move on to Hardware Selection. This is where we'll select what hardware we want to run the simulation on. There are a number of hardware options that Rescale offers across all the major cloud providers. So to help you choose, they're grouped here into some helpful categories like high interconnect or high clock speed. We'll leave our selection as Emerald and choose two CPUs as this is a pretty small job and then click Next. The last step in the setup would be to add an additional post-processing file, uh, but instead we'll look at the results interactively. So we'll leave this blank and click Next to review the setup. Everything looks good here. So we can click Save and Submit. Once we click Submit, we'll be brought to the status page where we can track the progress of the job as the cluster is provisioned, starts, and then eventually completes. It can take a couple minutes uh, to start up, so we'll actually switch over to another copy of the job that we have already running in the background. Let's navigate back to our Jobs tab and then select our running job. We can now see some of the options that are available to us for tracking the job progress. We can view files that are generated as the job runs, including this log file to ensure that things are progressing as expected. Once the job completes, we could then download the results to our local machine, but instead, let's use a Rescale desktop to view the results interactively all in the Rescale Cloud environment. We'll start by clicking Desktops, which brings us to the Rescale Desktops homepage that looks very similar to the jobs homepage that we started on. And this page is where we can view and connect to any running virtual desktop that we've provisioned. We'll connect to this one uh, that you can see here in a second, but first let's go through this setup process to see how easy it is to create and launch these. We'll click the Create New Desktop button, and we're then presented with some of the same options that we had when launching a job. We can select the software, which will be VMD, and the hardware, which will be a GPU accelerated node called Citrine. To attach the files from any of our jobs, we can simply expand the job section here and then select them by clicking the box next to the name. With our setup complete, we could click Launch, but instead let's navigate back to the home page and then connect to that desktop that we already had running. The connection is very quick and it's done right through our web browser here. And now that we're connected to the machine with VMD installed, let's launch VMD by double clicking it and then we'll load in our results. Any job that we've attached will be located in a folder linked on our desktop, so for easy access. So we'll navigate to that folder here and then load in the molecule. It'll take a few seconds as all the frames are loaded in. And so as it's completing, let's change some of our visualization options here so that we can easily see the atoms. To get a better view, we can also issue a couple commands here in the VMD terminal window. And then we can zoom in and see the box with our animation. So to recap, we were able to run a CP2K simulation on Rescale with just a few clicks and then view the results and do a little bit of post-processing in a Rescale desktop with VMD.